lovely friends, welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time here, hi, my name is Melissa or Missa. Welcome so much. Okay, today I'm doing this look here on my eyes because I did a look recently and I got a lot of requests to film it, but I'll be honest, if I've done a look, I really never want to film it, like straight, like soon after, even for like the next year, because I get really bored doing the same look and filming it. So I swapped out a wee bit, I'm still doing very sunsetty colours. In my halo I'm still doing the glitter but I added gems this time and we're focusing mainly like purple and pinks on the outside but you know it's so not quite as sunsetty but still we're going for the same vibe so yeah this is the look I'm doing and I chose my beloved carnival 3 I did that previous look with the blend bunny but I know a lot more people have the carnival 3 and it's a lot easier to get for most of us as well for my audience anyway so that's what we're using also can anyone guess what this lipstick is before I tell you in three two, one. It's candy yum yum. I mean, can you believe it? I've not worn this in so long. Oh, and I was gonna do a nude and I chose not to, but anyway, I'm gonna shut up because Elena is live and I told her I'll quickly do an intro and outro and then I'll watch. So yeah, I'm gonna piss off, but if you wanna see how I did this look and just fart about with me, we're gonna jump into it right now. Hello, my lovely friends. There's me looking beautiful, looking so beautiful. How am I single when I look this good? Primed with Revlon Candid already. Just doing this so you can see that I've got uh, primer on. Uh, starting off with the black, so I didn't bother lifting up the palette because honestly, any anything in life to make me more lazy will help. Also, if I'm like slurring my words, I am not drunk. My evening painkillers are kicking in right now. <laughs> so then I'm taking black breath and I'm gonna pack that on. I do kind of wish, to be honest, that I'd made this just a proper sunset eye, but like I said in my intro, I do get really bored. Like, if I've already done a look, I never want to film it. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, I've already done it. But saying that, I do like how this came out. I just do miss a bit of the orange and yellow. Then we're going to have a grape. You can see how much I've loved this palette, okay? And actually, I technically have a spare one because I sent one to Tess in America. Um, but it got sent back to me. Couldn't be, couldn't be delivered or something. So I do technically have a spare, although Tess is coming over here in June, so I probably should just give it to her in person. <laughs> yeah, then I'm taking magenta. Not a favourite shade in this palette, but a good blending shade for this. I do like how this look came out in the end, especially with the gems and the glitter up the very centre and like going down in, into like my eye bags as well. Like I'm not moaning about it. I do like this look. I take some cute pictures, I think. Um, oh, and then Pink Lily. Again, this shade is getting really hard for me to use because every time I dip my brush in, I like knock another chunk out of it and it's it's hard. I just need to buy another Carnival palette, let's be honest. <laughs> another Tahiti palette. I also want to buy the first Carnival again just to have the full set, even though it has duplicate shades in the XL Pro. Um, oh yeah, look at my outer corner. I've been absolutely decimating my brows again. Like, why do I have brow hairs down there? What's that about? But I've spent like an afternoon plucking them again and ruining my skin. Oh, another favourite palette where I've also hit pan, <laughs> the pastels, and I'm taking the light pink and I'm going to swoosh that around very sensually around the look. Do you know, I've got one cat sleeping on my foot and I've got one cat sleeping to my left. I'm in my bed. Life is good right now. I mean, it's not. It's absolutely shocking, but count your blessings, right? So that is the look terribly, do we all agree? But with this swift transition, wow, I'm just going to apply all those shades pretty much in the same order, but I'm now switching over to bigger, fatter, fluffier brushes because first stage is always me just popping the colour on, second is me actually blending and trying to make it look good. Um, I also feel like, I don't know if it's just in my head or if it's like since I started playing with the Surge palettes by like Blend Bunny, by like the Blend Bunny palettes I mean, I don't know if it's just that this palette is quite old now and so used that it's like almost drying up and doesn't perform like it used to, but I feel like this palette doesn't quite perform like how it used to perform. I'm not sure if that's like a thing or not to be honest, but... Yeah, I uh, feel like I had to put quite a lot of work in today when usually I find my Tahiti's very easy to work with. Um, 
this is my Revolution Ultimate Eye Base for the cut crease. I'm going to come back to my blending, by the way, like I do that a bit later on. But yeah, for the time being, it's totally fine as it is. <laughs> okay, it looks great. And I'm just putting my shape on. And I think I'm getting better at halo eyes recently. I think I'm getting better at like, matching them up. Although one's always wider and one's always taller. But, you know, whatever. And today, you might be shocked to hear, look, I'm not being lazy and I'm actually removing the centre. But it's because I'm going in with all mattes on my eyelid and I've got quite creasy eyelids. So I need to get rid of that if I'm going to be able to put mattes down and have them look okay and then I'm just using that eye base again filling it in that's why I didn't fill it in before and then this is a clean brush and I'm taking off the excess eye base because you don't want a thick layer you want it as thin as possible and then I'm rubbing that on my towel just so that I can use this to like shugle the inner and outer corner and kind of blend them a bit and then I chose this yellow because the yellow in the cart in the carnival yeah that I'm using it's quite an orangey yellow so it's not as bold but I do wish I'd maybe gone in with a more neon in your face yellow and then see I'm using the carnival yellow and then the coral pink lily um blackberry and grape and I'm gonna just spend a while blending this this took me ages to be honest <laughs> doing this bit because I always go back and forth between all the different colours like I'll put them all on and then I'll go back and blend add a bit more blend it add a bit more blend it that kind of thing so yeah a halo eye I do find is quite time consuming when you're trying to blend blend it like this but especially on me with matte colours I feel like it's harder and just on like my eye texture and stuff I don't know if any of you I mean some of you must have the same issue that I have and then just using my beloved ABH liquid liner it's so black it's so matte it draws over anything it's an excellent eyeliner and then my beloved L'Oreal glitter uh, this is the tits you can get it on Amazon I will obviously link it below and I think what made this look better is that I extended the glitter above the cut crease and, and like as you'll see I take it way above my brow but just to start off with I take it above the cut crease into the brow and I'm just dabbing it on with a brush because I don't want it to be too concentrated and then this is a bit of eyelash glue and I just decided to jazz it up even more today with gems because I don't think I used gems in my last one I don't think in the one that I didn't film but I feel like people are now coming around to realizing how great gems are uh, in any look and then this is my Too Faced Killer liner the black one it's definitely my favorite uh, pencil liner so that is that pretty much and then I went and put my base on I'm wearing my NARS by the way all uh, soft matte complete foundation because I wanted a full coverage and uh, this it just gives me a perfect base and yeah more glitter more Jimmy Jimmy gems all the spiderkle a girl could ask for basically I mean I wouldn't really put glitter on my forehead usually because you know it goes into the old wrinkles but whatever we're just having fun with makeup had to answer the door three times on this today at various stages of it being done and it was embarrassing every single time, let me tell you. And then I'm just uh, deepening that up and then just using uh, an assortment of purples to blend this out. But then I decided as well to do orange and yellow down here to kind of sunset it up, you know, since I didn't do that on the inner and outer corner. And I quite like how it looked, dragged the yellow down a wee bit because I knew I was going to go over the top with glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. I mean, come on. Glitter, honestly, glitter and gems. I just think make any look better. Unless it's just a matte black smoky eye. The amount of matte black smoky eyes I've ruined by putting glitter on them is abhorrent. But yeah, this is the gems and then I'm going back in and I'm going to blend this further. I decided to use that very pale, almost like lilac-y pink to take it into my temple and just like a wee bit above that. And then that's so stark and terrible looking that I went back in with more pink, dragged that in, blended it in. I also used that pink as a bit of blush but I didn't show that. And then I used the glitter, just a bit more glitter. You know, why not? And I did use the applicator this time and I put it on as kind of like a brow bone highlight. 
And the lashes, oh my goodness, these are artitude in the character, in the style main character. They sent me a package recently and these lashes were in it and look at them. They are nutty, like they're so curled up. I can't believe how beautiful they are. And then this is the final look, put on a pink top to match and then a pink lip. I wish I'd used a darker lip liner and overlined my lips more. Oh, and I did a wee inner corner wing as well, just because I always think that suits me quite a lot. Yeah, that's the look. Don't know if you can see, the blend just isn't ideal, but it is what it is, and I'm overall happy with the look. All my makeup's finished off with my candy yum yum. I've not got this out in so long, and also these lashes are giving me, like, <coughs> everything. Like, they are so curled up it's unbelievable if you wear glasses like surely these are going to be the lashes for you because they just go up they hardly go out they're just perfection like what i don't understand how beautiful they are to be quite honest with you anyway yeah that is the look finished i hope you enjoyed this video i again elena's just gone live at five o'clock and it's eight minutes past so i want to like watch her whole live while she's doing it so i'm gonna keep this outro very short I love my Tahiti palette, never lets me down, stop picking at my eyebrows, wear this lipstick more. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please do give it a big thumbs up, leave me a comment down below what you want to see next on my channel, I've got an idea for half drugstore, half high end, I want to do for my next video but let me know if that's what you want to see, I feel like I've got some really good dupes recently that I want to play with on camera and put them side by side. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, I put out three videos a week and I go live on Wednesdays for my sausages aka my Patreons, the link to join is in the description box. And I'm gonna piss off, have a shower, watch Elena, edit this video, eat crisps, what more could I want? Okay, thanks so much for watching and I hope I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye! See you.